the herd widths came across. I've had to go across to a landscape shot, but there are grazing in the grass next to all this cotton grass. And occasionally they look up at me, but got them all grazing in this bit. I probably should have done this in two videos. Oh well. Next, we'll be on Great Gable. We're just gonna follow this path up and then you can just about see the path that we're gonna take here that just goes up this way. So we should get views down into the valley and then we're just gonna follow the horizon up and then we're probably gonna come down this way or we might go up here as well and drop down that way. I'm pretty happy with the photos that I've already got today. So I don't really mind what we see. We should get nice views down onto Waswater, which is starting to open up now. And then, um, yeah, I think that's the main view that I want to get looking back that way. Cause I got one from next to Nape's Needle last time I came up here and I quite like that one. So if we can get something similar, that'd be great. No. Can't remember it. I don't think I liked it. You did, you weren't impressed with it. I know, I wasn't. I think that's why I don't remember it. Maybe it'll be different. Still not see the sun? You still not see the tan? Yeah. So it's just more, yeah, yeah. more of a track. Still got quite a long way to go. Scarfell Pikes over there. We've walked quite far. It's just been like um, stuff like this all the way up. You can see Nate's needle on the side now. We've done that before, so I don't think we're going to do it today. I think I've already said that. I'm losing the plot. We got up at. Um, about 20 to 3 today to get to Waswater for about quarter past four and I didn't get to sleep until about half one so struggling a bit so if I seem a bit grumpy today or if I repeat everything I'm gonna blame that but hopefully we'll see um, the tarn in a minute and hopefully we'll get some pictures there We've made it up to Stighead Tarn now. It's just down there. Um, it's got some pretty harsh light on it. You can see it just there. So I don't think I'm gonna get any pictures of that bit. I think the um, sunrise on Waswater this morning has um, just trumped all water views for today. And that doesn't really compare, but I am glad we got the early start it's about quarter to eight now, and we haven't seen another person since we came up here, which is quite nice. I'm not a big people person, so this is pretty ideal for me. So hopefully it stays that way for a little bit, and we can get some people with shots from up on the top. We're just gonna go to this stretcher box, walk past a half naked man. <laughs> and then follow this path up. And I think it might be a scramble up to the top of there. So I'll stick on the GoPro and then you can see the views along the way. Yeah. 
What's on the other side? Yeah. Tan. Tan. Yeah. There's a big group of people now. There's a great angle. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it's going down pike. That must be both fell off to the right. Is that sharp edge over there? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's Ben Caffrey. So Keswick is there. Yeah. Oh. Lang down. Where's Coniston? Yeah. Yeah. That's both fell, so it should be here. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Like a stick. Is there a, is there a person? You alright? Nice day? Pardon? Perfect. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, cool as down, yeah. It's definitely breakfast time, isn't it? Yeah. And I'll take, if you take it from here, Drop your sticks in as well. Get my sticks in it uh, and, and, and scarf it up. See? You just uh, press that one. Yeah. It'll just keep you, it'll focus now. With that, yep. And that will click. Okay. Eight, three, two, one. Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much. Drop one with um, yeah. that in the background as well. Yeah, you can, you can come around that way and get down. Monica the Glen. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, look at them. Pair of white legs. <laughs> that's a rare sight, that a Scotsman in shorts. In shorts, yeah. <laughs> we made it up to the top now, and I wasn't feeling that hopeful on the walk up. It was just like a rocky scramble, and it was pretty horrible. I I didn't enjoy the walk up. But then when we got up to the top, there was a guy here. So we've been having a crack with him. Um, he came up from that way. Um, he gave us some coffee. I took his picture. And yeah, we just had a bit of a crack down here. But the views are really good here. So uh, where should we start? So we start here. So you've got pillar here. We've done that in the video before. It was like really cloudy though, so you couldn't really see much. Then you've got the Ennerdale Valley. Um, you can see Crummock Water. Then this will be Haystacks. And there's Inanimate Town. And then there's Fleetwith Pike and Honister Mines. And then you got Skidar back there and Blencafra and sharp edges around there somewhere. That's the one we did the other week. And then as you come around, you get Great Langdale. And just behind that is Windermere. And this one here is Scarfell Pike. You can see the, um, like the trig point cairn at the top. I think there's a couple of people up there now. And then down on this side is wasp water. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a picture of wasp water off in that direction. I think I want to keep on walking until I, I get a view without these rocks, just because I'm sick of looking at rocks, really. I don't really like them today. Um, I want to get a picture of Scarfell Pike, maybe with the path that zigzags up to it. Have we done that in the video yet? I don't think we have. We'll do that one day. Um, they're the only two pictures that I really want though. Um, I think my dad wants a, a panorama of all the views. So I'll probably do that as well. Um, but yeah, we'll set up the camera and work something out now. I've just dropped down to this view of the wasp water. The light isn't that great, but I'm gonna grab a photo anyway because it is still nice. 
I think I'm just comparing everything to this morning. So the light is kind of flat now and kind of harsh at the same time. It's the sun is like almost directly above me now. So just got this one at F11 and ISO 50 and down in the valley, you can sort of see where we walked actually. We parked here and walked around past the Wasdale head in, past this farm, past these cottages and this way. And I'm quite liking how you're getting this sort of jigsaw of stone walls in the fields. And then you get wasp water back there. It feels like this will be a good place to come back to. Um, if the sun rises over there, maybe for a sunset. So I'm at the wrong end of the day, but we'll grab this anyway. But I think what I'm gonna do is end the video here. All I'm gonna do now is we'll grab a family photo while we're here. We'll probably get that same view in the background just cause it's, it's quite nice. But I hope you like the video. Fingers crossed some of the pictures from this morning will be available as prints. I haven't checked the pictures over yet, so I'm hoping that them herd with sheep uh, in focus and sharp. The shutter speed was a little bit low, so a little bit risky, but fingers crossed some of them came out. I'll find out later. I'm not going to worry about that now. You are? Nah, it's ankle breaking country. I was almost starting to like Great Gable. No. Going left, it's going to be quite hard. We need to go into that path. Yeah. We came up this way, we climbed onto this grass. Do you not remember? Yeah. There was a lot of sheep on here. But we need to get down there, don't we? Uh, well, you think we can go there? No, I'm, I'm thinking it might be a picture. I might get that rocky outcrop. Kind of want to get them fields and that. I'll see you a few minutes. Slight change of plan. Um, I put the camera away and we dropped down. We dropped down these screes and it's pretty horrible. I can't remember if I've said this in the video, but I, before coming here, I, I didn't like Great Gable. Then on the climb up, I didn't like Great Gable. At the top, it redeemed itself a little bit. Having a crack with that guy and the views and got some family pictures with my dad. And that was kind of cool. And then on the way back down, gone up it again. It's just like, um, just like horrible. They're like massive rocks and they just like go every time you put your feet on them. But less whinging. And I found another composition. It's kind of similar to what we did at the top with wasp water and these fields with the stone walls. But there's like a, a rocky outcrop here and there's a, few clouds in the sky on this right hand side i would have preferred it if them clouds were on this side then it was like a a nice side and like a, a nastier side but just got this one framed up now just gone for f11 iso 50 and 140 for the second and i'm just using the polarizer to take some of the glare off the water so we'll grab this one as well I quite like the intimidating shapes of those rocks and I think that just goes well with what we just walked down. What if you go like uh, left now? Right. Left. Yeah. Onto that grassy bit. Big mound. Can I go in front? 